If you were in a situation where, like, you were gonna die if you didn't eat your kid, would you eat your kid? I don't... Probably not. No. no. Why? No way. Ryan, you're gonna die, though. I can't speak from a fatherly, like, perspective right now. So, like, right now, I'm like, damn, you know. Depends. How far along is this kid? Uh, five years old. Five years old? You got five whole years of sweet, joyous memories with your little boy. Is that a life, Matt? Is five years old a really a life? I don't think it's when a life think at that about point. It? I mean, no. come on. I think I can, I think I can happily eat that child and have a good conscience. I could, I could easily eat a child. I think after the age of like, mm, like what, like ten? Maybe <laughs> eating a kid is kind of wrong. Yeah, after ten, that's definitely like that's. They're definitely a mature child then. I hope we shift the debate on abortion from like <laughs> when it when children. it's a life to like when it's okay to to kill a kid. It's like I don't know. Five years isn't really a kid. I kind of just want the Democratic Party to put a motion in order just to like just just to see the reaction. Like it's not serious. Just to be like okay, and in certain circumstances we will we will allow the mother to uh, eat, the child eat the child after the abortion. Just to see. <laughs> just to see. Like, just the articles that would come out. Just to see, like, what so, would happen. I just want to watch the Sean Hannity show when that, sh when that shit happens. Of course, like, it would be like a big April Fool's joke in Congress. The Democrats April fooled us, guys. Damn it. <laughs> we we're thought, the fools. We thought they were going to eat their abortions. Mm. That's where the leftists want things to go. Yeah, and these these liberals, they want to eat babies. <laughs> yeah, these liberals want to eat these baby eaters. Enjoy your fancy baby, Mr. President. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enjoy your fancy baby. See, Barack Obama's about to sit down and eat his eat, eat his little baby. <laughs> Got like a spicy mustard I could put on this. Like a Dijon mustard. Spicy mustard? I think the president watched a little too much television as a kid. Come on, we just want a good old classic American baby here, folks. <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a nice, you know, white bread bun <laughs> with sesame seeds. Sean Hannity starts like, just like foaming at the mouth thinking of this child. Just, mm. Mm. Before the age of five, it's perfectly okay. It's not a life yet. <laughs> it's not a I love just that 10 year. I love the 10 year cutoff. Bar, ten, 10 years is when it becomes a ten, child. Yeah. Before 10, you, you can eat it. You can eat your baby with a clean conscience. <laughs> Come on, man. You're hungry, you know? It doesn't know big words yet. It do, yeah, it doesn't know big words. <laughs> it's And it's not old enough to watch Super Mega, so... <laughs> the Tiger's like, well, does he know big words yet? He pulls out, like, a dictionary. Mm. Give me a big word, son. <laughs> um, <laughs> locomotive. Yeah, you can eat them. Kids <laughs> love their trains. I don't count that. I love, dude. I mean, <laughs> I fucking love trains. Yeah, because you're a little baby boy. I'm not a little baby. Were you going to call me a bitch at first? Because uh, it sounded like you, you, you started saying it no, and I was you gonna changed say, it to baby. No, I was going to say boy, but I was thinking, here's the thing. I was thinking bitch, but I was saying boy, so my mouth said boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love when that happens. So I'm just <laughs> grinding right now. More than more than your average Joe. Dude, it happens to me all the time. And I always, you always sound like a fool. Like, there's no way to save yourself from it when you're like, boy. I just make fun of myself if, if I catch myself. Or like if it's a serious discussion, I'll try to push past it because I'm a man and I deserve respect in whatever I say. Dude, Ryan, I think you always deserve respect. Okay, I was in Hollywood yesterday, and there's a guy handing out his CDs, like one of those guys trying to sell his CDs to people. Did you and listen to it? I did not, because <laughs> I, I, I just walked by and ignored him. But this, Come on, this, he's an artist. This beautiful woman <laughs> walks by and he goes, Oh, girl, you are so beautiful. You deserve so much respect and love and my CD. Message for you, mama's boy. Uh, <laughs> everyone's going to sound like a schoolyard bully to us in this game. <laughs> Will you accept the message, mama's boy? Uh, hey, yeah, mama's boy. How do I how do I accept the message? What what Dude, message? Your health is low. That goblin is okay. You're doing better. What message? Oh yeah, talk to talk to Posty Pete. Whoa, is that a skeleton? Yeah, it's, it's a pirate skeleton. Hello, mama's boy. I've got a message for you. Stop! I gotta fucking kill this thing. First. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Okay, now I'm gonna talk to Posty Pete. Hello, mama's boy. I've got a message for you from Molly. She needs your help urgently. Will you assist her now? My Molly. Let's go do some Molly. Sure, anything Molly. for Molly. This is the first quest in the game where you gotta score some Molly. Dude. All right. <laughs> what? We just got a random event. Nice. Oh my god, Ryan, what's going on, dude? I don't know. Well, we leveled up our attack level, by the way, so... Hope you're proud of me. Is this Molly? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm kind of distracted. What's Don't up? You, do you think it... What? I'm just questioning Aaron's design choice and, like, there's, like... There's a built-in bong in the ceiling now. In the office? And yeah. it constantly smells like weed. 
Like Aaron. Ever since Aaron started smoking weed, he's been so obnoxious. He's like, he, he, he's like, oh, what if our computers look like bongs? And now like all of our computer casings look like big bongs. I thought it was cool at first, but the computer runs like shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it has liquid cooling and you can use it as a legitimate bong if you would so like, like he does. But I, he said he was going to get started on animation soon. But and instead, all he's been doing is smoking kush. Yeah, so. I don't know, I don't it's kind of frustrating. It's just. It's just I'll cut do, all this out. Do you mind out. if I take this hammer and break this break this bong pipe so I, I can have a little more room on the couch? There are three bongs on the couch right now. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna break one. <clears throat> Ow, dude! It's fucking glass in my eyes! Break two. Stop! Oh! Stop! Through that door is a room with a cage and control panel that operates a giant mechanical- What's going on? What? I lured my sister into the room so I can imprison her in the cage by using the claw. The problem is my sister managed to hurt some innocent civilians in there with her. The claws in this game? What's going on? So what do you need me to do? Dude, I need you to go to the next door. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dr. Claw? <laughs> Once she's in prison, she won't be causing me any more bother. Sounds easy enough to me. Fabulous. Now take a good long look at me because the door will be- Take a good long look at me! <laughs> Takes her shirt off. It's the last time you're gonna see this! Come on, this is gonna suck, dude. Fucking Molly, she's ruining our life! Come on, this is- this is- why- I thought the world should know. How- how is this- how does this work, Ryan? Uh... Oh. oh, I see. Oh shit. It's real slow, and they're walking around. Got- ma'am? Ma'am, please come back here. I'm trying to save you right now. Okay, I'm gonna get her, because she's in the corner. That's real easy. Unless she decides to move. Okay, ready? 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 Oh! Going down! Going to get her! Got her! <laughs> that, would, that would easily break her neck. <laughs> help! Help! Oh, help! Please! Please! <laughs> well, I dropped her like 15 feet. She drops her, her foot falls through the floor, so she gets... <laughs> <laughs> Straight through the floorboard and like slices her leg open. That's morbid. Okay, I'm gonna get her. Ready? Oh, coming down. Let's break your neck. <laughs> God. Look at their legs. Like, <laughs> She's like screaming and everything. Wow. She could be having a good time. She's doing the running man. There's a lot easier ways to get them in there. Well, you tried your best, I suppose. Come next door and talk to me. What? What are you, what Wasn't are you I supposed to be about? picking up all the people that weren't the, her lookalike? Oh, no. Did I fuck this up? You caught an innocent civilian. I thought I was supposed to be you catching did it innocent twice. civilians. You, caught you distracted innocent... me, Ryan. I was, I was supposed to be distracting you. distracted me with your conversation. What, does, what was the conversation about then? If I, if I distracted you, then you'll remember it. This is not even a bit right now. I'm actually trying to remember what the conversation was about. I honestly can't remember. Where what... was your focus then, huh? Where I... was your focus, Matt? I was... Ryan, I... <laughs> Such incompetence. I should never have asked a baboon like you to do a complex task like this. What Get out of my about, sight. What are you talking about, Matt? You didn't give me a task. Well, she banished me. Where That's am very I? very mean. Where am I? <gasps> oh, I can't a, fight that a thing. A unicorn. I, I was- I'm trying- I want to follow somebody. I want to make a friend. Let's nope. make a friend and go- Let's go train with somebody. Here, how about this guy? Bouncy7376. Alright, go catch up with him. Go on, go on. Man, I can't wait for VR to be like real life so I can just live, like, in my little virtual home. I can have a bunch of jackalopes running around. I can have a Pegasus that I can fly to the supermarket. Dude, I get just- some groceries. I just can't wait until- until- I- I just can escape real world and- and go into VR every single day and go I to can, work in VR. I can install my Bob's Burgers texture pack. <laughs> into real life? <laughs> into real life. Whoa, dude. She teleported us far away. We were right- we were like right over here, and she teleported us all the way over here now. Okay. What? We're in Edgeville. What? Is there a Hot Topic nearby? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go into Hot Topic just to see what they have, not to like buy anything. I walk out immediately because I'm like, oh yeah, it's Hot Topic. Well, I I'm not trying to buy anything. I just want to see like, all right, what kind of goofy shit do they have? And then, um, and then I'm always scared that like someone's going to recognize me or like take a secret picture of me in Hot Topic Whoa. and put it online. What is that bunny? Okay, I'm following this guy actually. Follow Bunny1Z. Okay, <laughs> he's, he's going to be our new friend. Okay. Ask him how we get the bunny suit. Hey. Oh, did we miss it because of Easter? How did you get the bunny? We might have missed it because we missed Easter celebration. I'm asking him, how'd you get the bunny suit? I want to know. I'm looking for his answer. I don't think Hold on, the Ryan. Russia stories are as bad as they say it is. We're get okay, Jeffrey, it's very clear that the Russians worked with the Trump campaign. Come on. <laughs> Nothing worse than American people. Where are we? Excuse me? <laughs> Cle clearly somewhere where Americans aren't welcome. No, no brain dead allowed. Are these Russian bots, like in RuneScape? They infiltrated Holy Facebook, shit. they infiltrated, like, Reddit, Twitter. 
Are Russian bots in old school RuneScape now? The media is obviously being controlled by the elites. <laughs> Where is this guy? I want to follow him. Dude, what the hell? Damn. What's going on? I was just, I just came to play some RuneScape. There's some guy goes, we just need to be excited for Nintendo Labo, right? <laughs> Nintendo Labo releasing on 420 is the way. <laughs> Paul made a... Oh my god. <laughs> he cursed... He said a swear word at me. But I added the, I added the, the guy that was talking about politics as a friend so we can keep talking to him. In fact... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send him a private message right now. We gotta always be talking about politics in the background. Yeah, we're always gonna be having political discussion <laughs> with him. You know, I'm not. I'm actually. I'm gonna go into Edgeville and see if there's like any good shops where I can maybe get like. Actually, first let me let me let me see my 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 attack level. I am I am two. I need five to start using steel stuff. So I think I need to go grind a little bit to get my levels up so I can go, okay. uh, you know. So you gotta go, like, make stuff or you gotta go fight stuff? No, to I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fight or... some stuff to get okay. to get my levels up. But first, um, this is not a good area because it's, it might be too high of a level for me. So I'm gonna teleport <clears throat> back to Lumbridge and go fight some stuff around there, Ryan. I gotta use my magic. Uh, where's my, there's my magic. Yeah, it's, it's been a while, folks. Well, guys, that's all the time we got for this episode of Old School RuneScape. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.